Do you need some motivation today to get some of your to-dos checked off your list? I have put together over two hours worth of decluttering, cleaning, and organizing motivation. This marathon includes some of my favorite videos that I think you will really enjoy. So if you need some motivation and you want a friend to join you, come hang out with me. This would be the perfect time to watch while you are decluttering, cleaning, or organizing so that it will help you stay focused or if you're just wanting to hang out. I hope you really enjoy this video and can get some of your to-dos checked off your list today. Let me know in the comments if you find this video helpful or enjoy it. I really love chatting and getting to know you, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I can tell you what decluttering does. It helps you to find things. How many laptops can you find? Oh my gosh, a floppy disk. Another benefit of decluttering is finding the things that you couldn't find before. I think clutter means something different for everybody, but it does cause stress. It causes us to be distracted. It also makes it really hard to find things that we're looking for. So when we declutter and get rid of all that stuff in our lives, it helps us to be able to focus more. It helps us to be more productive. It helps us to have more functional spaces. It also helps us to have visually pleasing spaces as well. In one of my recent videos, I showed you how I started to declutter an overwhelming space down here in our office. So today I wanted to try the four box decluttering method. So I'm gonna show you what all four of those boxes are and how we're going to get decluttered. The first one is a relocate bin. So anything that doesn't belong here in the office is gonna go in this bin and I'm gonna put it where it belongs. The next one is my keep bin. A lot of this stuff down here for me today is gonna to be items that I'm not really sure yet if my husband wants to keep them or not. We're gonna go through this together, my husband and I, and decide what we're gonna keep so that we can make this office more functional. The next one is my donate box. And I got this large box on purpose so that I can hopefully get a large amount of items donated in here. And the last one are trash bags. Back here, hanging up on this closet door. I've got a couple of them there because I know that there is a lot of trash down here. All right, so I'm gonna get started in this closet. Ah, this closet is really stressful to me because we actually haven't really looked in it for a really long time. So I'm just gonna like grab an item. I'm gonna talk about it with you and decide what I'm gonna do with it. So here we go. Okay, look at this laptop. I don't know if you can see that. Look at all that dust. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a really old one. I have no idea if it even works. My guess is it doesn't because I know my husband has a new one. I'm gonna stick this in that keep bin just to ask him to make sure, but I'm pretty sure this is one that probably can be thrown away because it probably doesn't work. All right. <laughs> a really old case of CDs. Holy cow, I don't think we've looked at any of these in years. I think I might actually just go through these real quick and make sure that they're not something that's like important because some of them could be DVDs or something of kids programs or something like that. This is just a box. Let's see. Toy helicopter, remote control helicopter. I don't even know where it is. So I'm gonna throw this out. Oh my gosh. Ha! I totally forgot about these. Oh my gosh, okay. So one year for Christmas, my dad, he gave us all this big, huge thing of post-it notes. But I actually have several pads already upstairs that I use, and I really don't use them a whole heck of a lot. So I'm gonna just go through these and probably pick out three or four of these, and the rest, I, I'm gonna donate. I'm sure somebody else can use these much more than I can, so I'm gonna stick these into the donate bin. Okay. That was fun. Let's see what other treasures we can find in here. Okay, these are photo albums of my husband when he was oh, a little baby. I know that these actually were my mother-in-law's. I don't know if she wants them back, so I'm gonna put it in the relocate bin and I'm gonna see if she wants these back. Here's another huge pile of photo albums, but what I wanna do one day here soon is I actually want to scan all the photos so that I have them digitally. All right, so this filing cabinet, I'm sure is gonna go. We don't use it. We have another one over here. There's still some stuff on the ground here. I'm gonna clear this out and then I'm gonna go through these files. There's really hardly anything in here. 
most of it's probably garbage. So I'm gonna go through the stuff on the floor and then go through the filing cabinet. I use these once upon a time <laughs> under our beds, but obviously it's empty. I don't use it anymore. And if you saw in my video when I was starting to clutter down here, I, you can see that I had a huge pile of books that I got rid of and I put it in one of these bins. So that bin is gonna go, I'm gonna just gonna add this to that bin so that I can take this to the donation center as well. <laughs> this was a white elephant gift. <laughs> yeah, isn't that lovely? We've had it in here for several years and we haven't used it as our white elephant gift. I think that when we ordered it, it, um, it came late after our party that we were using it for. And we actually have one coming up on Friday, so in a few days. And I think I'm gonna use this. We're gonna get it used. So I'm gonna put it in the relocate bin so that I can take it upstairs and wrap it up and use it for a gift. Okay, let's see what other surprises we have down here. Oh, I totally forgot I had all these. Tons, let me show you, let's see. <sighs> Tons of kids books. So I'm gonna have to go through this pile again because I know that there's maybe a handful that I wanna keep. A lot of them I'm gonna get rid of. As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna stop the cluttering in here and I'm gonna go through these books so that I can put them in the bins they need to go to. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get stuck because I'm gonna get stuck going through each of these piles um, like the photos. The books were really hard to go through. I just have a lot of memories of reading to my children. I didn't keep that many. I kind of wanted to keep them for when I'm a grandma, but I'm gonna find a bin that I can put all those toys or books or things in that are small that I can keep for when I do have grandkids um, or I can give them to my children. If they want them, I'll have to ask them, obviously. Anyway, on to the next. These are train tracks for a Christmas train that we bought to put around our Christmas tree several years ago. And we didn't put it up this year because it doesn't work. It was really expensive though. So my husband really wants to fix it. So it's sitting upstairs. I don't want to keep them. I really don't want to keep them. So I'm going to talk to him and see if it is something that we can just pass on. Uh, maybe somebody else can fix it. I don't know. So anyway, these are going to go in the keep bin, even though I really want to just donate them. I'm going to make a pile of all the chargers and cords that I don't know what they go to. We'll have to talk about it with my husband. Armrests. These are, these are garbage. Uh, actually, the chairs that I pulled out of this office when I was down here a couple weeks, oh, you know what? This one is, it's all ripped apart. I'm just gonna toss these in the garbage. Okay, this is looking good. I already have the floor cleared off. All right, on to this filing cabinet. Okay, these are all um, more of the bands that my husband used. He doesn't really use them anymore, but is somebody who likes to keep stuff. Sometimes I can talk him out of it, <laughs> but of course I don't want to get rid of stuff that he doesn't want to get rid of. So I'm going to keep these and I'll discuss it with him. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. Seriously just want to ch chuck all of these. I think that I can. I'm going to put that in that cord pile. Okay. First drawer down. Next drawer, let's see. This is gonna be a nice easy one. A bike lock. Why would a bike lock be in a filing cabinet in our basement? <laughs> don't ask me. Uh, pretty sure that we don't have the key. So I can't even donate it. I'm gonna just toss this in the garbage because I'm pretty sure it's something we could replace pretty easily if we needed to. I don't think it costs a lot of money. So this is going in the garbage. Oh, look at that. I've been looking all over for this. <laughs> this is something my dad gave me years ago. Well, I can tell you what decluttering does. It helps you to find things that you couldn't find. <laughs> so I'm really excited that I found this. I'm gonna put this in the really relocate bin so that I can take it and put it upstairs where I know I'm gonna get more use out of it. 
Yay! Now look at that. Imagine that. Another laptop. How many laptops can you find? I'm sure this doesn't work either, but again, I'm gonna put it in the keep bin and ask my husband about it and hopefully we can get rid of this one. All right, last drawer. So I found separators for my binder from when I was in high school. You guys, <laughs> I'm almost 43. Am I almost 43? No, I'm almost 42. <laughs> so that was a long time ago. Those are going in the garbage. I don't know why I kept those. Last few things in here. There's a ton of these pain relieving patches that my husband used at one point, but they've been in here for years and they haven't gotten used. Actually, I wonder if they have a expiration date. Oh, expiration 2018. I was gonna donate these, but they're trash. So I'm gonna throw these away. Yay, that's done. <sighs> Too short. <laughs> Reach that. Go there next. Okay. I can't even remember what these are called. Negatives, fill, uh, photo negatives. This is all his memory bin stuff. I'm gonna have to go through it and put all the photos into his memory bin. Oh my gosh, what's in here? Oy, oy, oy. Another box of CDs. All right, some of these are like burned DVDs. Those are definitely garbage. That was before the day of Apple Music and all this music streaming apps and stuff. So I probably won't need any of these. I'm moving on to these next drawers here. These are some plastic drawers that we've had forever. Every time I go through these, I don't know what to do with it. So I'm hoping that this time will be the last time and we can figure out what to do with most of this stuff. Keyboard that is full of dust again. I don't even know why it's here. So I'm gonna put it in a key pile for my husband to decide more, 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 more. Oh my gosh, a floppy disk. I imagine that the stuff that's on here is already somewhere else, but I'm gonna stick that in the key pile again. I'll go through that for my husband. I know that this old Apple charger is garbage. I don't think we have any devices that have this old charger. Wow, a really, really old cell phone. I think it's safe to say we can throw that away. Okay, these drawers are empty. Fabulous. It feels amazing. All of them. Empty, 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 empty. Yoo-hoo! Okay, I'm moving on to the desk drawers. These haven't been gone through in quite a while, I don't think so. Let's dive in. This is garbage sack number two. It's heavy and big. Another benefit of decluttering is finding the things that you couldn't find before. This garbage is full. I have two huge garbage sacks full. This is feeling amazing. I do have piles over here to get rid of. The relocate bin, the donate bin, the keep bin. It's feeling a little bit overwhelming. At least I'm moving things out and we got a good sized donate bin. So this is feeling really good. Okay, I was able to find a ton more garbage in these drawers here. Bye-bye. Look at all this progress I've made so far. The relocate bin, this goes with it as well. That's getting full. I know this key bin is quite big, but again, I have a feeling that we're gonna be getting rid of probably 90% of this. This donate bin, I'm pretty proud of this, it's huge. That's full, and then I've got these two large trash bags that are super heavy, full of stuff, and this box of garbage, all of it garbage. I'm gonna go and get rid of this now so that it's out of this office because it's taking up a whole lot of space.
So I wasn't able to get this whole office done in one day and that's okay, I totally expected that. But I'm making really good progress. Today is the second day. I only have this filing cabinet left. You did just see me empty out um, a little bookshelf here and a few things that I had on the floor from yesterday. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these. sure why we've kept all these boxes to the Apple products that we've purchased over the years. We have quite a few of them, but it's definitely time for these to go. So this is going to go in the garbage bag. Okay, day three, back down in the office. You might hear some noise. My kids are home from school on a Christmas break, so I'm sorry if you hear the piano or door slamming or whatever, that's just, that's just life right now. So I'm really excited because I'm really close to finishing decluttering the office. I know that it's going to be an ongoing process. That's just what decluttering needs to be because it can never be finished with decluttering. So this is like the big, declutter, getting rid of most of the stuff in here and I'm feeling really good. I only have a couple of little spots left that I need to work on. A pile back here in the corner by this filing cabinet and on top of the bookshelf. So I'm really excited to get rid of this huge box of donate stuff. I'm just so excited to get that out and then I've got so many bags of trash taken out of here. At least three huge bags on this one and there's probably still some trash that I need to get rid of so I'm really excited about that. I was also able to go through my husband's um, box of pictures and all that and this is what I come down to so he's gonna have to go through the pictures eventually if he wants to. So the next steps for me after gathering everything is I'm gonna take these to the trash, I'm gonna take the donate box straight into my car in the trunk and I'm gonna try and get that taken in the next couple of days. It is the week of Christmas, so it is kind of crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it for sure, but if it's in my car, at least it's ready to go. My next step is to take the relocate bin and I'm gonna go and just spend 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes or so, and just put everything back in the places that they belong. Once I'm done with that, I'm really looking forward to getting this office cleaned. It is really dirty. It hasn't been cleaned in who knows how long. It's just been a really long time. And then after that, I'm really hoping to be able to get some organization down in here so that it can stay functional. It is going to be a lot more functional after getting rid of all the clutter, but um, having more organization in place is going to make it so much better. And I love to organize, so I'm excited for that part. And then hopefully, maybe in the next couple of months, we can kind of get it decorated. We have never actually decorated this office before. We just brought stuff in here. A lot of the stuff is hand-me-downs, um, which is totally fine. Some of the items I kind of want to get rid of. And then I also am thinking of maybe painting the walls and hanging up some decor. So I'm still going to keep it really simple so that we don't end up with more clutter, but I'm looking forward to the organizing, cleaning, and decorating part. So I'd love to hear from you guys about how your office is coming along. Do you guys have a really cluttered office? Are you able to um, keep it organized and functional? And have you gotten rid of clutter? Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm really looking forward to this new year. I have lots of ideas and plans in place on for some videos that I We'll be putting out every week on decluttering, organizing, cleaning, and my minimalism journey. I, I have a different idea of minimalism, I think, than a lot of people. For me, it's mostly just getting the clutter out of my life. 
that I have been hanging on to for a long time. Like down here in the office, I don't know if you noticed, but we had papers from 20 plus years ago. Lots and lots of papers. So it felt so good to get all of those out of here. So I'd love to have you join me and come along. So if you're interested and you liked this video and you wanna see more, please subscribe below. I make videos again like this every week and I can't wait to see you again and I'll catch you next time. Today we're getting started on our Clutter Free in 2023 series. I am planning on decluttering every nook and cranny in my house and today we're starting in the laundry room. I'm really hoping that you wanna join along in the series and get your home decluttered as well. I feel really blessed to have the space that I have and my old home used to have the laundry room in the basement which was kind of a huge pain. So having it on the main floor right next to my bedroom is really helpful. I really love that we have a large closet in my laundry room. I really love that I have a sink. There's a couple of things that I don't really love and that's okay, I just make it work. So the garage is right through our laundry room door so it's constantly busy. People are coming in and out all the time, but it's okay, we still make it work. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and get it decluttered. So like I said, I do have a pretty large closet but I've had a hard time making it function really well. Today I wanted to just kind of get rid of the stuff in there that I don't use, but I also wanted to go and give it some organization. So I'm really excited to bring you along and show you what we did today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the closet in there. That's really where I keep everything. Uh, there is definitely some things that I want to change up in the laundry room and one of them we actually did over the Christmas break. I received a gift from my in-laws and my husband, which was a new cabinet that they put over the sink, um, which we've been talking about for several years to go ahead and, and do, and we finally did it. It just needs a little love in there. We are one step closer with this cabinet and I'm excited to show you what I did in here. So let's go and get right into it. I would say one of the things that bothers me the most about the laundry room is that the door to the laundry room and the door to the closet gets stuck together. And especially if somebody forgets to close the door all the way, when you open the door, it slams into the other door and it's really annoying. I have three mops and all of them are on the floor. You'll see that later I have a genius idea on how to handle that, but this is a Bissell steam mop. I haven't used it for several years because we got new flooring and I was told not to put a steam mop on the floor, but I kept it because of this little part. It has steam that still comes out and you can scrub things with it. So I thought maybe I'd still use it, but I really don't. So it's time for this to go and I'm going to go ahead and donate it. I want to apologize for the terrible lighting here in my laundry room, so I'm sorry for that. But here I'm just going to pull out everything that's on the floor and everything on the bottom shelf so that I can figure out where I want to put those next. I keep all my mop heads in this little bucket, but here I found one of the pads that goes to the Bissell mop, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that with that one. And here are a bunch of my cleaning cloths, and these are just junk towels that we use. We always seem to need a junk towel for something, either for drying the dog off or for wiping up spills. Here I have some laundry items. I have the beads and OxyClean. They're not in a really great location. I don't like getting into this door when I'm doing laundry because it bangs, like I said, into the other door. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason to how I was going through this stuff. I guess I just was wanting to see what I had in there to decide what to do with it. I started to feel pretty overwhelmed because I wasn't sure how I was going to make this function. I did a lot of shuffling around, you'll see, but I eventually figured it out. I decided to grab myself a laundry basket and just go through each item here. I wanted to put all the cleaning products into one location so that I could see how much I really had. This one I definitely wanted to get rid of. It was just a little bottle of Windex for my son when he was younger because his hand couldn't fit on the big bottle. I also had a couple of almost empty bottles. Here I was just tossing out the things that I don't use anymore, like these scrubbing bubbles. There's also a Lysol, a disinfecting spray, a Scotch Guard bottle that's basically gone. And then the other things I put into the laundry basket that I was not 100% sure on, but I figured I probably wanted to keep. I really don't want to be wasteful, and so I wanted to keep a lot of it, but there's some things I just haven't used for years, and so I decided to get rid of them. It's just less to manage. I wanted this basket to be for sponges and scrubbers and things like that. As I watch it now, I can see that there's some things that I definitely haven't used ever or in a long time. Like there's a magic eraser that's still in plastic and also the scouring stick that I 
have never used. I've never used either of those, so I think it's time for me to go back and get those and throw those out. On the other hand, I do use these scotch Bright scrubbers all the time. These were what I use in my kitchen, and so I stock up at Sam's Club or Costco. I bought this drill brush attachment set a couple weeks ago and I haven't opened it yet. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm pretty sure I wanted to use it for the shower or something, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Hopefully I didn't waste my money on it. This purple thing is actually a buffer, I think, for cars. It just needs to go back in the garage. As you can see, I have these bottom two shelves cleaned out and I have all the cleaning supplies down in the baskets. And then this shelf has laundry stuff on it. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but at least I have them organized together. All right, on to the top three shelves. I don't actually use this Drano anymore. It just, we haven't seemed to need it. So that's gonna be going out. I do use these waste basket liners all the time. This is a little bucket of shoe shine stuff. We don't use it a lot, but we do use it sometimes. So it does come in handy. Here are just a few vacuum items for my new Cord Zero vacuum, so I wanted to keep those for sure. I didn't want to waste anything, and so I decided to take a couple minutes and to refill these bottles of Windex and the floor cleaner that I use. I think it's called LA's Totally Awesome. It's at the dollar store. Before I started to figure out how to organize these items, I decided to give it a quick wipe down since it was empty here. Now you're gonna see me trying to figure out how to make this more functional. And I'm going to be doing a lot of arranging and rearranging and arranging and rearranging over and over and over again. This closet is a little bit difficult because it has that angle on the left side there. So it's really hard to fit bigger bins like the one I'm trying to fit here. Organizing is a lot of trial and error. As you can see, I'm trying to put these all-purpose sprays into this little bin. They're too big. It doesn't really work. I'm gonna keep trying, but it's not working so I'm gonna put these gloves and scrubbers and, and other things in there and that's more useful. I would love to know what you would like to see more of on my channel. Do you want more decluttering, cleaning, organizing, grocery hauls, or even recipes? Or do you want a mixture of it all? I would love for you to comment below and tell me what you want I want to provide content that you like and that is useful and motivating to you. I would also love for you to subscribe below if you are enjoying this video. I used to use this bottle of ammonia on my floors, but I haven't used it in years. So that is another thing I'm going to be tossing. I'm really not liking how this is working out. Nothing seems to be fitting exactly how I want it to. Um, I don't like how the bottles are just sitting on the shelf. I wanted them in containers. I have really pared down my towels and rags over the last couple of years. Here, I'm just trying to figure out how to best fit them. I'm not sure I, I really like this, but it seems to be the best option right now. I do like how I have the bucket here with the rags. I also have another little bin inside it with my Norwex rags that I don't want everybody to use because they are more expensive. <laughs> Here's my genius idea for my mop problem. Actually, it's not really genius. It's just it's just something that's gonna work well. I found these command hook, I guess they're not really hooks. They're, I don't know, whatever you wanna call them, but they hang the mops from the door. So I won't be having them sitting on the floor anymore. And since I got rid of that one Bissell mop, I should only have my spin mop bucket on the floor and nothing else. So that will be nice. I think I learned my lesson on buying big bottles of things like this Windex. It's been sitting in there for years and I haven't used it. And here you can see that it doesn't fit on the shelf, which was really frustrating because this is where I wanted to keep some of the bigger items that are extra. I was able to lay it on its side and it worked out fine. And here's some extra Tide that's gonna go in here and I have some extra fabric softener sometimes that will go in there as well. 
but it seems like everything will fit just fine there. Here I am finishing the last shelf in the closet, this little gray rack. It's a rack that you can put in your dryer for when you want to dry something flat. I've actually never used it before, but I feel like since it belongs to the dryer, I should probably keep it. I don't know, maybe I need to get rid of it. I was able to pare down these vases from about nine to five vases. I decided to get rid of the ones that I just really don't use or that don't fit my color scheme in my home, like this red one and this one with flowers on it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this new cabinet. I knew that I wanted all of my laundry supplies in here. The only problem that I was seeing was the mess that they were gonna make. So for now, I'm gonna just put down a junk towel to catch the drips. I'm not really sure I love the glass jars here because you have to take them down in order to get inside them, but I guess I'm just gonna keep it here for now. I've also decided that I don't think I'm gonna buy any more of the fragrance beads. They just cost a lot of money, so I'm gonna try and cut those out. I had a few extra organizing bins that I had laying around the house. I used a couple of them also in the closet behind me. I ended up deciding that I needed more, so I made a trip to Target and got a few more. The floor in this closet was disgusting. There was so much dust and hair and gross stuff. It rarely got vacuumed because there was so much stuff on the floor. So now that there will be less stuff on the floor, it's gonna be so much easier to vacuum and keep clean. Isn't it so satisfying to see all that gunk get vacuumed up? That's the reason I love to vacuum. This is the only item that is going to be on the ground. I ended up getting rid of a pretty good pile of garbage and a smaller amount of donate items. I also have the big Bissell steam mop that needs to go as well. Here are the bins that I bought at Target. I was really anxious to see if they would work out in making everything function a little bit better. I came in here the next day to finish up organizing. I tried matching like items into each basket. So I used one for all purpose cleaners, one for the Ajax and the soft scrub, the kind of scrubber cleaners. I also did one for the wood cleaners. Again, you'll see me rearranging items, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted it. I put all the carpet cleaners together in a bin as well as disinfecting wipes in its own bin. To finish this off and to get my family members to put the items away where they belong, I just need to put labels on these. Thanks again for being here today and I'll catch you next time. What do you think the benefits of paring down our clothes to a more manageable size would be? I feel like the less stuff that we have equals more time. In the morning, it's faster to choose what we want to wear. It's easier to decide. So all in all, it's easier to get dressed. So a smaller amount of clothes makes it so that laundry is faster and easier. You don't have as much to wash. The biggest impact that I'm hoping will happen today is getting rid of the negative self-talk. And I'm really hoping that this will motivate you as well to do the same. When I come in my closet in the morning, sometimes my clothes are taunting me. I am too small, I'm too tight, your belly has gotten too big, and I'm showing all the rolls. Or I'm really uncomfortable, I have to tug at the shirt and pull it down all the time. As we age, our body changes. Our wardrobe should change with it. We need to have our wardrobe work for us instead of us changing for our wardrobe. So if you're feeling like your clothes are weighing you down, making you feel bad about yourself, come along with me and let's try and get our clothes decluttered. 
I'm gonna work on this today. I do have a couple of boxes that we have to use. I have a garbage sack here. I have a donation bin. I have a time will tell bin. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. I also have a bin for off season clothing. A few days ago, I started the process by getting rid of all the junk that I had on the floor. I actually was trying to do some returns. I had tons of returns from Christmas and I keep those in a basket on the floor in my room. So I needed to get those out in order to return them, but also I needed them out of the way so that I could get all these clothes decluttered. So there's a lot of different ways that you can go about decluttering your clothes. A lot of people tell you to take them all out. I don't like to do that. I feel like if I needed to stop, if my children need me, I need to go somewhere that I'm not stuck with this huge pile. For the last couple of years, whenever I'm going through my clothes, I turn the hangers all backwards. This helps me to know what I actually wear. So I have quite a few hangers here that are backwards. This one I use for skiing or sledding and I have two of them. I'm gonna keep it for just that six months to a year in my time will tell bin. If I don't use it, then it's gonna go, but I'm just gonna keep the one this one's gonna go. So the time will tell bin is an idea from Dawn on The Minimal Mom. I love this idea. So she has a bin that you can put in anything that you're not 100% sure about. This is kind of a safety zone for me. If I stick it in there, I can stick it up here in the top of my closet where it's out of sight and I'm not necessarily thinking about it. But what I like is that if there's something I know I miss and I really think I need this, I will go pull it out and that will be something that I can keep in the future. So here's an example of an item that I purchased. I, I don't even know if I wore it. Maybe wore it once and I really didn't like it. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get rid of the guilt. I don't want to feel guilty that I spent the money and didn't use it. What I'm going to try and think instead is I'm going to donate to somebody else and maybe they'll enjoy it. I'm also hoping that it will help me to learn to buy intentionally in the future. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Just get rid of the guilt and just donate it or whatever you need to do with it. As I'm going through these clothes, I'm gonna be asking myself a few questions. I'm gonna be asking, what kind of clothes do I need for the season that I'm in? I am a busy mom, so to me, I need some comfortable clothes that I'm able to move well in. I don't need professional clothes. I do wanna have a couple of nice blouses or tops for when I'm going out on a date with my husband or out with my friends. Another question to ask is, does it fit? Do I love it? Here's another one. I still have the tag on this one. Actually, I think I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna see if it's still something that I like and that I think I'm going to wear in the near future. It needs to be like really near future, hopefully this week. So I'm gonna give it a try, then I'll decide from there. Tags, again. Another time will tell, super cute. Here's the problem. I just didn't feel really good in it and I want to be able to feel good in my clothes and I want them to fit well. So again, I'm gonna put this in the time will tell because I do think it's cute and like it. If I haven't used it by fall, it's, it's gonna go. This one's too tight. Don't really like this one. It's gonna go. So if you also have clothing that's worn out, stained, damaged in any way, just get rid of it. Don't hang on to it. all going. All right, here's a good example of a shirt that I really liked, but I have it sitting here because I needed to repair it. There's a little rip right there. So I've had it sitting here in my closet so that I could sew it. I don't really sew it or fix it. I'm just going to donate it. I hope that somebody else can use it. take a quick look through this bottom shelf here. This has like my coats and my sweatshirts and things like that. And then also my jewelry holder. So I'm just going to do a quick look through here and see what I can get rid of. Another question to ask when you're going through your closet is, does it serve a purpose? So there might be some items that you only wear maybe once or twice a year. For example, 
My husband has a dinner with his company that is a black tie event. I don't have really fancy dresses. I do need to go buy one. I had one from a couple years ago. Now I don't fit in it anymore. I got rid of that a little while ago. So now I'm gonna go find another one. I'm gonna quickly go through my shoes. I recently went through these, so I don't have a lot to get rid of, but I am gonna put some of the summer, spring type shoes into the off season bin. I've gone through all the clothes in here, but I'm gonna quickly go through just the things that are left in the closet. I have a bucket here with, I hide those. I just have like some extra gifts. So that just sits here. Oh, look at that. This is the dress that I was just talking about. It's the most formal <laughs> dress I could find that I, works for me. Uh, I did keep it. It's like, three sizes too small, probably. See, here's where I'm struggling is because I'm kind of hanging on to the fantasy self. Like one day, maybe I'll fit back into this. I'm gonna put it in the time will tell bin because that's basically kind of what this bin is right here. This is a free bag I got from Victoria's Secret. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I hung on to it because I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. Maybe I will. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, I forgot. This was a gift for my dog. This is just gonna go to Roxy. These are little notes and cute little things that I wanna keep for my kids in their little bins up here. But it's kind of a pain. It's a pain to kind of get up there every time I wanna put something in there. So I usually set them here, but I don't like that. So I'm trying to come up with a solution and I guess the solution is probably put them away as soon as I get them. So actually, I'm gonna take the time. I'm just gonna hurry and do it real quick. All right, I'm back in my closet today. Yesterday ended up being kind of crazy and I wasn't able to finish. I think that I'm sort of set my expectations up way too high, but I kind of do that because I'm a perfectionist and it's something else I'm kind of working on. After I went through all these clothes last night, I forgot that I had some laundry. And so after going through this, like I know I wear all these because I just washed them. Actually, this one right here, it has holes. I don't know if this happens to you, but on like the cheap t-shirts, they get all these little holes right where like the button of my pants are from leaning up against the sink, counters, whatever. I think I'm ready to, to trash it. I like to organize these by type. So I have my dresses here, I have sweaters, and I have the comfy sweatshirts and then sweater type shirts. And then the rest are t-shirts. I do wear a lot of t-shirts. I also ended up putting my time will tell bin up on my top shelf in my closet. It is see-through. I don't really love seeing it. It looks more cluttered to me. I think that's the best spot right now. So I'm gonna just keep it there. I'm gonna move on to my dresser drawer. Just get that quickly decluttered. And then I have something else I wanna tell you that I really wanna try for the next month or so. All right, this drawer, I have way too many tank tops here. I don't wear tank tops. These are just for underneath clothing that has too low of a neck, but I don't need this many. So I'm gonna hurry and go through those. Oh, and then I have the pants that go to the shirts for the sledding or skiing things. And I don't need two of them. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And here I keep my pajamas. I do know I have too many because it's been hard for me to close the drawers without it getting smashed. So I'm just gonna see if there's some I can pick out of here real quick. Oh, I do know that I don't like either of these. These are okay. These I've worn quite a bit. I think I'm gonna get rid of those. I don't love these. I'm gonna get rid of those. I wear t-shirts to bed and I actually use these also for working in the yard and stuff. So I'm gonna keep all of those. Okay, the last two drawers are exercise clothes and jeans or pants. I wear that one all the time. These two, I wear sometimes these. I don't really care for. Those are gonna go. So I have three pairs of blue jeans, one pair of black. So I'm actually gonna just put the jeans back. Okay, I know I can get rid of those because I don't wear those. This is done. That was pretty simple. It took me like 10 minutes maybe. This is the pile of clothes that I was able to find in my drawers. And then this is my big box of donations. I'm feeling really good about what I got out of my closet. I wanted to try out new hangers in my closet. I wanted to use some wooded ones that were matching. 
So I bought those at Target a couple weeks ago. So I went through my closet one more time and took out all of the plastic hangers and replaced those with the wooden ones. And then I also donated all of the hangers that were mismatched colors, not just the white. I know that my husband still wants the hangers. I'm gonna keep the white ones for him and for, oh. Jets. We live by the Air Force Base and there's jets. So that's what that sound is. I'm just gonna wait for a second for it to go away. So what I decided to do, I'm looking forward to this and I really wanted to try it out because I wanted to see if I could pare down my wardrobe to a very small size. I'm not willing to go down to 10 things or 20 things, but I am gonna try 30 items. I got 24 hangers. I have 24 items hanging in my closet and then I have six pairs of pants. So that's 30. I'm not gonna count my shoes. I really don't have very many and I know that I use the ones I have. I'm not gonna count underwear, pajamas, or like my coats because it's winter and I need them, which I only have a couple. So if you'd like to join me in this 30 day challenge, I would love for you to do that. And we can chat about it in the comments. I would love to hear how it goes for you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. This video is part of my Clutter Free in 2023 series. If you'd like to see the first one, check it out right here. In today's video, I'm gonna give you four steps to declutter and organize your pantry. I have felt overwhelmed in the past because of the mess and the disorganization. I would let food expire. There would be empty boxes all over the floor and I had to move everything in order just to find something. After a lot of trial and error, and I mean a lot, I've done this many times, I have found a way that works really well for our family. It's not perfect, and it definitely doesn't stay organized and decluttered all the time, but I no longer feel really overwhelmed by it because I do keep up on decluttering and organizing it regularly, and today is one of those days. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first step is to remove the items and to clean off the shelves. I suggest that maybe you can do one at a time. I feel like when you empty out the entire thing, sometimes it can be really overwhelming. Sometimes you can have a big mess left because you had to stop and you weren't able to finish it. But I've definitely done it before where I take everything out and that's usually when I want to reorganize everything and put things in different places. But today I'm just taking a shelf worths of item off and then I'm gonna clean off that shelf, organize the items and put them back on the shelf. I like to work from the top to the bottom, and that's because when you wipe off the shelves, there's gonna be a lot of crumbs and they're gonna fall down. I don't want to have to rewipe the shelves every time crumbs fall down. The second step I do is to declutter. I like to go through all the items and pick out anything that we haven't used for a long time or something that we didn't like. For example, I bought some lo mein noodles, some dry lo mein noodles before. I used them once and I haven't used the rest in a long time and I don't see us using it in the near future. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those away. Also, you want to check the expiration date. These beans expired a couple months ago. Now I don't have like a hard rule on expiration dates. I will keep some of them still past their date because I know that like it says best buy, they're not expired. They're just best buy that date. There are some that I will go ahead and toss the ones that I don't use enough um, or that we just didn't like. So The third step is to group like items together. Now this is really helpful when you are decluttering your entire pantry at once. If you wanna do it that way, you can put everything on your counters and you wanna group them into your like items. For example, you would put pasta noodles together, snacks would go together, canned goods would go together, rice um, and breakfast items. So I do keep most of my extra large items down in my food storage room, and I'm gonna be going through that pretty soon, so stay tuned for that video. I do have a few things that I keep in here. On the top shelf, I have a big thing of baking soda, which I will refill into my smaller jar that is in my baking cupboard. Now I realize that everybody has different sized pantries. I feel like mine is kind of mid-sized. I know there's lots that are way bigger and some that are definitely a lot smaller, but I hope that you find this video helpful even if you don't have a large pantry or a mid-sized pantry, even if you have a really small pantry. My goal is to give you motivation and inspiration. I do make videos just like this every week on decluttering, cleaning, organizing, and I absolutely love chatting with you in the comments. I always hear such positive remarks and it's fun to get to know you. And I'm so grateful that you're here today. Step number four would be to organize your items. After you've separated them into piles of like items, you're gonna put them back on the shelves in an organized way. Now, a lot of people like to use bins and baskets to make it look really pretty. 
I do have some in there that I really like. It isn't necessarily to make it pretty, which I would like, but sometimes that just isn't functional or realistic. Some people I think also like to use bins to hide things so that it's not looking so cluttered. I actually like to be able to see the food in there so that I know what's in there and I don't forget. Although I don't like to leave the door open and see it all the time. So I love that I can just close the door and not see all of the food in there because it does look a little cluttered to me and sometimes will stress me out if the door is left open. When putting your food back into the pantry, you'll want to put the food that's going to expire the soonest at the front and work your way back. That way you're definitely using up the food that needs to be eaten first. I don't really like how my chips and big bags of snacks are organized right now, so I wanted to try something else. I got some bins from Target. I did get some white ones that would match some of the ones I already have in there, but I also wanted to try clear. I wanted to be able to see how much we had in there, so if we needed to buy any more. It also keeps it a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to access. You can just take the whole bin down and get what you want and put it right back. So it is something that I know won't get forgotten because everybody loves to eat them. When you're organizing, it would be a good idea to put labels on each bin. For now, I just have these easy labels that just stick on. I know that one day I might wanna invest in something a little bit better, but for now, these sticker labels are gonna work just fine. I wanted to talk about a few things that are working really well for us. One is my potato basket. It has been an item that I have moved around in my pantry to different spaces and used it for different things, but this has been my favorite use for it where it is now. Another thing that's working really well for us is the recycling bin. We don't really have anywhere else to put it. I don't like it sitting out in my kitchen. It is a little bit of a pain. I guess it's sort of working well. I think the problem for us is that it just doesn't get taken out enough. So it gets full really fast and things start to overflow. So I'm just wondering maybe if you guys have a better solution for me or an idea. I don't know. It's working pretty well, but I would love to have another idea if anybody has one. I have really loved the turntables. Those have been kind of a game changer for me, especially in my pantry and also in my cupboard with my oils and baking goods. There's a few exceptions. The turntable that I keep breakfast items on hasn't been working super well. I actually really love that it's big and it's in a deep corner so that things don't get lost, but it hasn't been turning really well because the big bins will kind of hit the top of the shelf and won't spin very well. So I need to just reorganize that a little bit today. Another item that I have really loved is our school lunch bin. I decided to make this bin because I had kids who were eating a lot of the really expensive snacks often that I had intended to use for school lunches. What I ended up doing was putting all of the extras in our food storage room. I actually have a lock on that door as well because, you know, they were sneaking them. I liked that I was able to put a limit on how much they can have. And so each child has a bag and they have like their drink, their chips, their treat, those more expensive items that are gonna go into their lunch and then they can get their other main item and vegetables and fruit when they're packing their lunch. The wire shelving for the cans and the Easy Mills have been really useful to me as well. I have one that holds all the canned foods and then I also have these two that stack on top of each other. And one of them keeps the like pasta mills and one of them keeps like taco shells. I also usually have the crunchy lo mein noodles in there that we use a lot for our Hawaiian haystacks. I have tried one of those can organizers where they drop down before. It just doesn't work in mine. So I really like how I use the wire racks in my pantry. Decanting my pasta and my large baking goods has been something that's worked really well for me as well. I can't fit every kind of pasta in the bin, so I do have a little one with some extras, but it's working well for us. I also have like my flour and my sugar and my brown sugar. All of those are in bins in my baking cabinet. I have also really liked this snack hanging shelf that goes over the door. It does need to be decluttered and rearranged and I can see that I need to fill it up a little bit more. But I love that it's given me more space in my pantry because it was really cluttered before and this has made it so that I don't have so much food inside the pantry. It's hanging on the door, which has been really useful. There are a few things that are not working very well in here. One of them is when I tried to decant cereal. I have these two cereal bins and I tried decanting them. We go through a lot of different kinds of cereal, so it's hard to keep up. 
even if I did go through the same cereal, I probably still wouldn't decant those. It's not really very pretty, but it is really functional and realistic for me as well. So this usually is full of cereal because we go through cereal quite a bit. Another thing that I really want to try and avoid is to keep stuff on the floor, except the recycling bin. So when I have stuff on the floor, it just collects dust and hair and it's really gross and I don't want any food down there. The other thing that isn't working really well is the rice turntable like I talked about a little bit earlier. But I'm gonna go ahead and try some organizers that I bought at Target to see if those will organize the rice a little bit better than the turntable did. I really like how everything has turned out today. I like the solution that I made with the rice and how it's not on the turntable anymore. I also really love the solution that I put in here for chips. I know that's gonna work a lot better for us. I would love to hear if you need to organize your pantry or what other spaces you're looking forward to or maybe even dreading decluttering and organizing. If you wanna see more of my clutter-free in 2023 videos, check out the playlist right here. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you next time. Today I'm gonna be tackling this. It is pretty bad. My food storage or prepper pantry, or whatever you wanna call it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start by just clearing off the floor. We've gotten into the habit of being kinda of lazy and just dropping our bags of groceries onto the ground and not actually putting them away. So here I am just taking everything out of the bag, breaking down some boxes, clearing the floor so that I have some space to get to work. The back of the room was so crowded, I could hardly even walk back there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna clear up some more stuff here. As I'm going along, I'm just checking everything for expiration dates. There was definitely way too many things that were expired. Some of the items have recently been expired, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep some of those, but there was definitely a lot that I needed to throw away, unfortunately. All right, now that the floor is mostly cleared up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on clearing off the shelves, getting them cleaned down and organizing them. The top shelf here has some of our emergency backpacks. It's been a long time since I've gone through them, so it's a good time for me to go through them now. There was some that were empty, which um, that's not gonna be useful to us. This little box has 72 hour kits that I started preparing years ago, but a lot of the food expired. I didn't rotate through it. So I need to do better at that as well. This backpack is actually one that is kind of useful. I packed some clothes in here for my daughters and some for myself as well. Some of them are really worn out, like a pair of these, the elastic wore out on these, and then two pairs of jeans that are just too small for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate those. The problem is that I didn't get anything ready for my two boys or my husband, so <laughs> they're gonna be out of luck. No, just kidding. I really need to work on getting us all clothes and that we can all be prepared if there's an emergency. I had really good intentions for these 72 hour kits. I bought so much stuff and I got them all packed. I didn't actually finish them completely, but I had a lot of stuff. The only thing is that I definitely didn't use them up in time. I was, my plan was to rotate them, to use up the food and then to replace them with new food, but all of these items have expired. The only ones that I was questioning was the instant oatmeal. Um, so I did keep those. I'm not sure if those expire or not, but I had to throw away all of this and it was really disappointing, but that's just life and I just need to move on. Are really lucky because we have two peach trees in our backyard that make the most delicious juicy oh amazing sweet peaches there's they're just so good i don't know the variety i wish i did 
We are able to eat as many fresh peaches as we want and I'm still able to bottle a ton. This is still gonna last us six more months, so that's awesome. I'm just putting a couple here in this box in order to take upstairs because I know that I am out of them upstairs. I also can pears. We actually just buy these from a fruit stand close by. They're from Washington, I believe, but they are amazing. They're so good and we've obviously gone through quite a bit of those. I was really excited to have this extra space here until I realized that I had a whole nother case of pears, another 12 bottles. So just needed to add them here, but luckily I still have quite a bit of space left. I also wanted to be able to group like items. So I wanted to stick all of the canned fruit here on the top shelf. I also wanted to mention how much I love these shelves. They're metal, they're really strong, and they hold a lot. As you can see, I've got a lot of canned food here. They hold it, no problem. The only thing that I need to try and fix is to add something on the front to hold all the cans in in case of an earthquake. We had one a couple years ago. Luckily, nothing fell off, which was amazing, but you never know for the future. So I've got to figure out something to put here on the front. So if you have a suggestion, I don't know if there's something that you do, with shelves like these to contain all the jars. I would love any advice or tips. All right, here I have six cans or so of some chili sauce that I made in 2015, a long time ago. I decided that that's probably too long. I think it's five years. So I decided to throw those out and reuse the jars. Unfortunately, these canned beans I really don't like. We really do like canned beans, but this particular kitchen sliced green beans, they just weren't good and it expired like a year and a half ago. So I have quite a few here and I was really disappointed, but we just don't eat them. So those are going in the garbage as well. As I'm going through the food, I just wanted to make note of the items that I'm out of or low on so that I can get those purchased next time I go to the store. Here's some more items that I canned back in 2015. Some jalapenos. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why we didn't really like them, but we didn't. So those are gonna go as well. Last year for Christmas, my in-laws gave us this really time consuming, amazing gift of bottled beef which we really love. We have bottled it in the past before, but we use it to make stroganoff. I also have a bunch of canned chicken. I have a couple bottles here left from 2020. I'm not too concerned about these two that I jarred. We actually really like them. So I'm gonna put those in the container to take upstairs as well. I have a ridiculous amount of jars. As you can see here, this is just a little portion of them. I wanted to try and get them organized. I was trying to put all the quart jars here and then moving all the pint jars in the half pint jars and stuff over to the other shelf. I have a lot of empty ones this year because I just had a hard time with my garden this last summer. There was a lot of diseases and pests. I was feeling really overwhelmed. I'm trying to keep up on it. So I actually really didn't can as much as I wanted to. So I'm gonna keep these jars just in case this year is different. Maybe even the next year is different and I can be able to get more canning done. My favorite thing to can by far is this grape juice. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Some of it makes this light purple and some makes dark purple, but both of them are actually Concord grapes. My mother-in-law has both kinds, so it's kind of fun to see what color we get. But oh my gosh, we absolutely love it. We just mix one bottle with a bottle of water and some sugar. We just devour it, it's so good. Here I was trying to move uh, the other quart jars that are on this side to the other side. Oh, look at this one. It actually has a marble in it. That's wonderful. <laughs> so that's gonna go back in the toys. Anyway, I tried to move them all over here, ended up having way too many that wouldn't fit. I wasn't about to move them all back. I decided just to keep them here. Next year, I will have probably food there. So it's not a big deal. My perfectionism is kind of kicking in here and I wish that they were all together but I didn't want to go through the extra work of trying to get them put together in the same spot. Down here, I have some water stored for emergencies and then just some drinks. We don't usually buy drinks often, so 
this isn't filled up very much, but oh, again, here's my perfectionism kicking in. I needed to have the little bottled water next to the big bottled water. <laughs> anyway, this is where I like to store our drinks. All right, now I decided to try and stack a bunch of the pint jars here. I like to put the wide mouth on the bottom so that I can be able to stick these narrow ones up on the top and they fit perfectly together. Not exactly sure where this fun jar came from, but it actually says not for product. And the only reason I would use it is for canning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and donate that one. Here is the other shelf that holds all the other quart jars. Like I said, they just didn't fit on the other shelf and I didn't want to remove them and put them back on. I also had more pint jars to put on here as well. Those didn't go with the other ones either. Again, I just have to let go of my perfectionism and just be okay with how he did it here. So this shelf kind of has a mishmash of a bunch of stuff. It was one that was feeling really overwhelming because I didn't know what to do with half of it. So I decided just to pick this one little bucket. Actually, it is a pitcher, but I use it as a little container to store the stuff. And I just took everything out and decided what to do with it. Here I have a huge bag of lids for canning. I kind of stocked up. So I wanted to put all of the lids together in one bucket and all of the rings as well. So I just found this bucket and I'm just gonna load it up with all of the lids and rings. I haven't used these in years. I have a set that goes with, that has one big one and then there was four small ones, <clears throat> excuse me. And I only put one in the middle of it and then put the vegetables and stuff around it. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go ahead and donate these. Let's see when this expires. Still good for this year. So we'll need that. Got a ton of these lids. Ew. There's like spider webs everywhere. <laughs> I don't have these cans anymore. They're the big food storage cans. I pretty sure I've used them up. I kind of hate to do it, but I think I'm just gonna throw those out. Yep, and this, I don't need that. Uh, I might use this for all the rings. I have a bunch of extra ones. I'm just checking to make sure that these have been used. I don't know if you can see the difference. I'll show you. This one has like a lip inside it. That means it's been sealed. This one does not. So this, these two I can put back and use again. Well, not again, but use for the first time. I obviously don't have very much room down here, so this has been a little tricky, but I think, I think I took some extra jars from a neighbor once. And as you can see, I don't think I need any more. So I'm gonna find out what's in here. There actually might be food inside it that was really old. I think I took them because I was gonna dump them out and wash them. So let's see, this is gonna be a fun surprise. Let's see what's inside. Oh boy, I don't know what to do with these. They're perfectly good jars. They're dirty. These are way old, obviously. <laughs> oh man, I hate to throw things out. I mean, brand new lids. I don't know if you can use them after so many years. I don't know. This is a tough one. All right, let's just take them out of the box. Well, oh, I can't decide what to do. You know what? Actually, I prefer the wide mouth compared to the narrow mouth. So I do think I'm going to keep these. And then by the end of the season, the end of the canning season, if I haven't used all the jars, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of whatever narrow mouth jars that I haven't used yet. So I gotta make some more room for these. It's a bunch of dust and stuff, but I'm just gonna leave them because I always wash and sanitize them before I use them. This is a 
really cute little jar, a little Christmas jar, but it's been sitting down here. We got this as a gift from my parents for Christmas. So it had probably some goodies in it. Oh, I hate getting rid of jars. They're so pretty. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I got to think about that for a minute. So do you guys remember, uh, I think it was 2020. Yeah. When the pandemic hit, how you couldn't find lids like anywhere. So I ordered on Amazon. They were supposed to be the ball brand. Yeah. I got gypped. They don't really even look like it. These are supposed to be wide mouth. They're not, and they're like total crap. So anyway, I just need to throw these out. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them out. Best popcorn at Costco. Got another box here of things that need to go upstairs. I know there's quite a bit here because I just cleaned out the pantry upstairs and I have quite a few things down here that need to go up. Ugh. This expired a year ago as well. I need to get those used up. I'm going to take those upstairs. Boy, I haven't been doing very good about coming down here lately. These expire first. They expired a month ago, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to still use them anyway. So we're going to eat those. doing so hot eating up this food we're gonna do better Let's see if I need anything else to go over there don't think so these are the cans I was talking about with the lids. So I might keep a few, I have three of these. So I'm going to grab three lids to put on top of these. I've bought in these cereal bins several times in the past, ended up not really loving them. I talked about that in my last video of my pantry upstairs. I'm just using them as little storage bins. I'm keeping bags of pasta in here, which has been working well. So I'm going to keep that. Also, this is the best pasta from our spaghetti noodles from Costco. Love them. Let these expire a year ago, almost. My kids said they liked them and then they never ate them. Another shelf done, making good progress here. All right, as you can see, <laughs> um, I'm kind of stuck in here. So I'm gonna have to work my way out here real quick. Move a bunch of these boxes and garbage out so that I can continue working on the other side. These packs were again, gifts from my in-laws for Christmas. And I know that they all have great food and supplies in them and we don't really need to do anything with them. So I was just dusting up here and putting them back. Now I'm gonna move on to the other wall. I'm just gonna clear off this top shelf and wipe it down. And I'm putting back a bunch of my canning items. This is my steam juicer that I use for making grape juice. I have my food saver and my canner. This is a gift again I got from my in-laws. I just didn't really care for it, so it's gonna go. I also had this food dehydrator from my mom. That was a hand-me-down. And I just have only used it once, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. These shelves are a little flimsier, they're plastic, so I decided to move all the heavier canning items down to the bottom and put the paper goods up on top and the Ziploc bags here on the second shelf. I obviously bought way too many. I didn't realize how many I had. I know that I don't have any quart ones in there, so I made a little space left for those as well. And these are some Dixie cups. I bought them years ago. I don't even know why. They're just the little ones you use in the bathroom or whatever. I'm just gonna throw those out because we never used them. I had some dishwashing tabs that I actually keep upstairs in my pantry. 
because I have room up on the top shelf. Here I have some of our flavored syrups. I kind of wanted to put them over by the drinks, but again, I had all the jars there and I didn't want to have to rearrange. So I'm just kind of playing around here trying to figure out what to do. I'm not sure why I moved these to the other side again. Maybe it was just another one of my perfectionism things and I wanted all the canning stuff on the left. This is just a bag of no-name brand Otter Pops that my neighbor gave me a couple years ago. We haven't used them. We don't really care for them, so they're going in the garbage. I apologize for the quality of this clip here. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of the bigger pots here. And I have a bunch of appliances that I moved down here because I don't use them upstairs. And I found this ice cream maker that I use a lot and I'm not exactly sure what happened. Some gunk had spilled out of it and like stuck to it. I thought maybe it was leftover cream or ice cream, but I don't think it was. And it, I think it was something from the inside that spilled out. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it there and try it again. But the, a lot of these appliances I had upstairs in my kitchen and it was just taking up a lot of space. They aren't items that I use often. So I decided to bring them down here to think about. And most of these I'm going to keep. The only one I'm questioning is this George Foreman grill. To this backpack, I added a couple of the extra emergency items that were just kind of floating around so that I can have them all in one pack. These five gallon buckets, they store my flour, my rice, my sugar, and my wheat as well. Again, I got a little lazy and hadn't actually put them inside the bins where they need to go. So here I'm just putting everything back in. I needed a new huge bag of jasmine rice, which is our favorite rice. So I'm just sticking it in. I actually don't even take it out of the bag and dump it in. I just stick the whole bag in and scoop it out from there. I bought this waffle maker and griddle several years ago to have on hand for wedding gifts, but they were actually really, really cheap and they're not really great quality and I never actually gave them away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and donate those. Behind this door, I have extra flooring, baseboards, and parts to bunk beds. I'm not exactly sure what to do with them, so I'm just keeping them here for now. I do like to keep some of these boxes for when I'm moving jars upstairs or back downstairs. So I just keep those here in a corner. And here I found another bin of a bunch of stuff that I forgot about. So I had, I did have some containers that I used for jam, which was great, but a bunch of the other items are just random pieces that I haven't used in years and don't need anymore. So I'm gonna donate those as well. And I'm just gonna keep the empty bin here in case I need it for something else. And here is my favorite part. I love to vacuum and I love the feeling of getting up all the dirt and the spider webs and the crumbs. It just makes it feel so nice and clean. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a little tour of the final product. There you saw some of the drinks, the grape juice, and right above it, you'll see my canned tomatoes, spaghetti sauce, and a bunch of salsa still. I have some empty spots for green beans and corn. And here is all my canned meat. And then above that, I have all of my canned fruit. One last time, let me hold you. And here I have a couple of emergency backpacks. And here are my five gallon buckets with all my flour, rice, sugar, and then you'll see my huge collection again of mason jars. And here's the shelf that has all the extra appliances. And above that here are all the crackers and chips and cereals, breakfast items. And then here are all the pastas, my noodles. And I also keep like macaroni and cheese up here if I have any, which I'm kind of low on, sometimes ramen. And then up here again are the emergency backpacks that have a lot of great supplies. On the other wall, we have the paper supplies and the Ziploc bags. And below I have canning supplies there, just a bunch of other random kind of stuff 
that goes with canning and the drink stuff. <laughs> and then I have the big canning items here on the bottom. And then here I have my extra supplies of lunch items that go into my kids' bags upstairs. I talked about that in my video last week if you want to check that out. And then here I just kind of have some random stuff, some baking items, and I have an empty shelf here on the bottom, which is amazing. I'm so happy about how this turned out. Here is another small little section of my food storage room and it definitely needs some work, but today was not the day. I'm gonna have to work on that another day and hopefully that will be in the near future because it's hard to get in there as well. Here is my huge pile of all the garbage and recycling to throw away. And then I've got a bunch of donate things and a ton of stuff that needs to go upstairs to be put away. Here is a box of items that I had decluttered from upstairs and I wondered if I wanted to keep some of it so I kind of put it down here for a time will tell but I don't want any of it so it's all going. So here I'm just taking some of the items that we needed to restock up in my pantry upstairs. Wanna be free of this heart. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and post the video of when I decluttered and organized my pantry. If you wanna go ahead and check that out and see how I do it. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. So Here's a quick reminder of how it looked in the beginning, a big disaster. And here you'll see the final product. It feels so amazing and I'm loving it. I love to just go down there and look at it. It feels so good. I hope that I was able to give you some motivation and inspiration today, and I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time. All right, today we're gonna go ahead and just get right into it. I am in my master bathroom in this closet, and we are going to declutter and organize and clean it out. And there is so much stuff, as you'll see at the end, that I'm going to be getting rid of. I'm gonna go ahead and just take off everything off these top two shelves. I'm gonna give them a quick wipe down, declutter, and throw away the stuff I don't need, and then organize it and put it back. I've heard a lot of good things about this method all-purpose cleaner, so I wanted to give it a try. I was out of all-purpose cleaner, so this was a good time to buy it, and I love it. The pink grapefruit smell is so good. hanging travel bags from Target several years ago and I've loved them. If you're interested, I'll try and leave the link below. I just have some medications that have expired that I need to throw away. I just wanted to check all the pockets and see if there was anything else that was expired or things that we just don't use and needed to throw away. apologize for my shakiness. I don't know, maybe it's just getting old, but I my hands shake all the time. Okay, I think that this has been in here for a really long time. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. this basket for probably 20 years and it was time for me to get rid of it. I actually don't really care for baskets. I prefer the plastic storage containers. While I love watching decluttering videos that have a lot of music, I also find it really helpful when they actually talk about what they're decluttering. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that a little bit throughout this video. These are two haircutting kits and I know that one of them doesn't work very well anymore. So I decided it was time to get rid of one of those. Uh, these are some just travel shower caps, so I was going to add those into my travel bags. These are little curtain hangers that I don't really need, so those are just going to go in the garbage can. These are a couple items that I decided to donate. This was just a band that I used around my stomach after I had C-sections, and so I'm not having any more kids. I decided it's time to get rid of that. And then this is a wrist splint that I used as a teenager. 
Um, I guess I just had some wrist pain. Anyway, I ended up actually having carpal tunnel and had surgery about six months ago or so, and it was the best decision I've ever made. Anyway, I decided to donate both of those. Here are the rest of the items that I had on the top shelf I was planning on keeping, so I just went ahead and organized them and put them back. Next, I'm moving on to the medications, and this is where I needed to get rid of a lot of stuff. First, I wanted to try and consolidate items or take boxes off if they needed to be taken off, like this children's ibuprofen here. We have been keeping the medications here in our closet up high because we didn't want our children reaching them when they were young, uh, but now that they're older, we decided to move them um, into a different closet in the hall. We figured it would be easier because we don't have kids barging into our room, into our bathroom when they are looking for medications. So we decided it was time to get those moved out. So this bin, we keep the stomach medications and also prescriptions that we aren't currently using, but that we might need to use. In this bin, I was able to get rid of quite a bit of expired medication so that felt really good wanna be free of this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me i need you more need you here more than i would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah should i hide away forever should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over. Yeah, you never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot, it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. I always knew that this would happen. So I just set all these bins aside in hopes that I am able to get them to fit in the hall closet because I need to declutter that as well. I do still have a space left though in this master closet in case that doesn't work. I'm probably gonna move some items from the hall closet to this closet instead. Here I'm just gonna empty out the next two shelves. This shelf is most of my husband's belongings. I'm not going to show me going through these items just for his privacy but I am gonna show you my items. So this whole row is basically my stuff. Well, I guess the family uses a lot of it as well. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. I got into the bad habit of just shoving stuff into these bins. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this. I know there's a lot of garbage. I know there are some items that need to be relocated. So here we go. I've been into press on nails so I'm just going through a few of them here I'm gonna throw away the ones that I didn't care for or the ones that were flimsy and just not very good quality I 
most of the stuff here is items that I use every day, but there were a few things that I don't use anymore, like face wash and a lotion. This lotion here actually expired a couple years ago and had never been opened, so I threw that one away. And then I'm just gonna clean this out and put everything back. <laughs> I was at it I went through my makeup bag I'm not a big makeup person so I don't really have a lot there wasn't a ton for me to get rid of there was a lip gloss that was basically empty there was a lip color that I didn't care for Was full of a lot of random stuff. I had several medications that had been expired. I had some perfumes that I hadn't used in years. I had this little bag full of um, like pedicure foot stuff. This perfume was a gift years ago and the other day I decided to try it. Yeah, it smelled like an old lady. <laughs> so I decided to get rid of it. And this one I used probably 20 years ago was the last time I used it. So I just tossed that one as well. And here's an item that I have no idea what it is. So it went in the garbage. I got several samples when I ordered something from Sephora or, or somewhere like that. So anyway, there were items that I just never used. So those went in the garbage as well. just a few things left here that we do use daily. I wanted them to go on my little spinny table. I, I didn't think I had room. I actually did. So anyway, here I'm trying to figure out how to get this other turntable to fit and to put these items on it. But then I was like, oh, I have room. So I went ahead and put those into the other turntable. This is a little container that I keep my daily medications in. I put them in here so that I have them easily accessible to refill my weekly pill box. container that I kept all of our nail items in and yeah it was really gross up here <laughs> those are all fingernail clippings that was where we kept the fingernail clippers and toenail clippers I don't really paint my fingernails much anymore I usually do gel nails or the press-on nails but I do paint my toenails so there was only a couple in here that I really cared for and liked and I just wanted to double check if they were still good and they were so I just put a few of these back. I actually ended up throwing away this nail container because I didn't really care for it. It didn't fit everything the way that I wanted it to. I don't know 
why, but I spent a lot of time trying to decide which clippers to keep. I didn't... <laughs> I don't know why. It was hard for me for some reason, even though they're really cheap and easy to replace. I like how this organization turned out but I just realized that I have a lot more nail items underneath my sink. So I'm gonna have to rearrange and figure that out again. I have a lot of candles. I buy them from Bath and Body Works during Christmas time when they are on sale for $10. I like to keep them sometimes for gifts, um, also just to burn for ourselves, but I haven't been very good at burning them. These two big white bins, it's where I keep extras. Um, I like to buy a lot of this stuff from Sam's Club and Costco. I hate, hate running out of shampoo and conditioner. And it seems like I always run out of shampoo and conditioner because I have two girls downstairs that are always running out of it. So anyway, I kind of stock up. Right now I have way too much. Um, so I need to try and be a little bit more mindful next time I'm shopping for these extra items. these shampoo and conditioner bottles from Amazon a while ago. There's also one that's a body wash. Anyway, it's really easy to refill them. Well, I guess not super easy. You'll see in just a minute. Um, but I haven't been able to find a bottle that actually fits in the little niche that I have in my shower. And these bottles actually fit perfectly. These purple ones are even too tall. Like they're just a tiny bit taller, but they don't fit. So I don't like having them on the floor. Anyway, so that's why I decided to try these other bottles. This bottle only had a tiny bit left, so I just try to get as much out as I can, but this conditioner is really hard to get into this tiny little thing. I actually do have a little funnel that it came with, but it's not helpful at all because the conditioner is really thick. So this took me quite a while to actually get it in. And you'll see here that I was trying to stick the whole thing on top and squeeze it out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here, you'll see in just a second. There it goes all down the side and I didn't even notice. I decided to give it one more try and just to look at it and make sure that it was careful and it worked really well. So I was able to get the last of it filled up. Did you ever stop and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chase. I feel like I say this a lot in my videos, but a lot of organization is trial and error. So here I am just moving things around, trying to fit them the best that I can. And I realized that it just wasn't all gonna fit. So I took out a shampoo and conditioner that I could take downstairs to the um, closet that's next to my girls' bathroom so that they can have the extras down there. These two bins here on the bottom are meant to be containers for toilet paper and Kleenex, 
but our refill bins were overflowing so things kind of got shoved down there as well. Um, I ended up buying too much of this body lotion but I go through it a lot so I guess it's okay. I it just should have looked a little bit harder but it was too messy. <laughs> so and this gets so gross down here. It's full of dog hair and dust and lint but by this point in the day um, I actually wasn't feeling very good so I just wanted to hurry and get this last little bit done so it's not done the way that I want it to be. Um, I'm going to be going back in just a few days hopefully. Um, hopefully I'll be feeling better. I'm still kind of under the weather right now but I'm going to go back and do a deep clean of everything in this bathroom so I'm going to be cleaning the floor in here and inside those two baskets and the baseboards and stuff so I'm looking forward to that. This is the huge garbage bag of all the garbage and junk that we got rid of in this closet. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did would you please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you next time. Sometimes when I declutter I make a really big mess kind of like this. Do you feel that way sometimes? Well, I have really good news for you. Today I'm going to be trying out Dana K. White's No Mess Decluttering System. Her video is linked down below in my description where she goes through all these five steps to teach you how to not make a mess when you're decluttering. And I'm really excited to try this today. So in one of my recent videos, I was down here in my basement organizing and decluttering my food storage room, which is right here around the corner. And what I ended up doing was taking out a lot of the stuff and just kind of putting it here in the hall temporarily so that I could finish decluttering the food storage room. Well, you know, life gets in the way and things happen and I get busy and then the stuff just stays here. So basically what I'm doing is shuffling clutter around, which I really want to break the habit of. So I'm really excited today to get going on this decluttering system. There are really only two supplies that you're going to need today. One is a garbage sack. She also wants you to get a donation box or bag of some sort and this is just what I had. So the very first step that she recommends is to find all of the garbage and to put it in your bag and throw it away. Recycling whatever it is that you need to just throw away. This is going to be anything that is really obvious. The really nice thing about step number one is that it gets you moving. It gets you started. There's a lot of stuff in this room also that needs to be decluttered, but I'm going to work on this stuff real quick. These need to go back upstairs where I keep my light bulbs. These also need to be put away, but both of these are garbage. So there was some obvious trash. We will talk about this in just a minute. Step number two is to look for the things that belong somewhere else in your home. You know exactly where it goes. It will be really easy for you just to grab it and put it away. All right, so this is the point that I seem to get stuck on, is actually taking the items and putting them away. I'm gonna do what Dana suggests, and she suggests to take each item and to put it away right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these cards and these little Nerf bullets and put them away. I know that both of them belong in the closet. When you're grabbing an item, if you see something else that belongs in the same space, go ahead and grab it and take it with you so that you can avoid a lot of trips but you're probably gonna be walking back and forth a lot. Okay, right behind me here, I know that I have this bag of chips. <laughs> yeah. So this is the definition again of being kind of lazy. Right behind me, that's the door to the food storage where I need to put the chips. Another really obvious uh, put away item are these mason jars. They also belong in the food storage room. I'm gonna go ahead and put those away. I'm gonna come back to these light bulbs. I was gonna go and put them away right away because that's what she recommended, but she also talked about doing the work right away. So I did replace a bunch of light bulbs down here today, but I have several more in this room that need to be replaced. I am going to stop right now and I'm going to replace a few of those light bulbs. Now that I put those light bulbs in, I'm gonna take this box and the one back here upstairs to put away right now. Okay, these two baskets, bins here, I know there's some other obvious things that I know need to be put away where they belong. These I bought for my husband's office to try and do organization in there, which I haven't done yet, but I know that that is where these are going to go. Both of these items go in my daughter's room. This is one daughter. This is the other. I don't think there's anything else that needs to go in their room. Oh, so I'm going to take those and put those away. I know there are some obvious items in here. Some of the items 
Not sure yet if I'm gonna keep. So I will deal with those again in one of the next steps, but I'm just gonna peek through here. Like I know the paint sticks, I like to keep those that go in my paint supplies. This definitely goes in my paint supplies. A Nerf gun, bullet again, another one. Do you guys find these all over your house? Cause I do. Got that all put away. And I know that there's one more item in here that's obvious put away, which are these sanding discs. They belong in the garage. And the last thing that I want to do right now is walk all the way out to my garage and put them away, but I'm going to do it. Otherwise it's going to end up back here and not be put away and just cause more clutter. All right. Even though there's still quite a bit left in here, it's already feeling better. I'm going to set that aside. Oh, look, there's some garbage back here. So that's going in the trash. I'm just going to check down the hall here, see if there's anything else that's an obvious put away and we'll move on to the next step after that. Okay, so even after just the first two steps, which was throwing away anything that was garbage and putting away anything that didn't belong, it already feels a lot better. So step number three, she calls duh donations. So this is anything that is very obviously a donation. You don't really have any questions about it. There's no emotions involved. There's really no decisions involved. I'm going to be having to ask myself some questions in step number four to figure out what to do with the other items that are left. The dot donations that I have back here, they've been sitting there for a month, two months. I don't know how long. I am going to pick them up and I'm going to put them directly into the trunk of my car. Tomorrow, I know that I'm going to be running errands and it will be a perfect time for me to take them to the donation center. Ping pong needs, ball needs to be put away. Another Nerf bullet. This belongs to our Christmas tree, which is just in the closet here. So I'm going to do that. This one, I thought I had decided and was an easy duh donation, but now that I think about it, I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm going to set that down and I will talk about that in step number four. All right it's time to shed some layers. Getting kind of hot in here. I'm done with step number three. I'm moving on to step number four. Step number four is to ask yourself two decluttering questions. The first is where would I look for this item first? So let me give you an example. Let me find something. I have this wood finish here. So I'm going to ask myself where would I look for this? Now, all of my paints, are right in here, my painting supplies. So I would look for it in there. If you know exactly where you would look for it first, that is an indication that you know where it should belong. It's gonna be different for everybody. You might have your paint in the garage, but I have mine in here. Now this bin, this laundry basket is looking pretty empty. There's only two items left in here. The second question is, let me grab my notes here so I don't botch it. If I needed this item, would it ever occur to me that I already had one? So if the answer is no to that question, it's something that you possibly want to consider decluttering. All right, this is just a switch plate cover. I have no idea where this belongs. I'm like trying to look around to see if I can find it and I can't. If I were to need this item, would I know that I already had one? And the answer is no. So I'm going to donate this. I have no idea if anybody would need it or not, but I am going to put it in the donation box. Okay, I'm going to just try and quickly go through these items here. I'm going to try and talk through some of them with you and see if I can answer those two questions to decide what I want to go ahead and do with these items. All right, this basket, I did buy several of these. I ended up not needing them. So I need to take this back to the store and I actually have a bunch of items in the back of my car. Again, tomorrow I'm running the errands and I'm going to return some items. I'm going to run this upstairs and put it in my car right now. Ooh, and while I'm at it, this is empty and it belongs upstairs. I'm going to take that with me. All right. The last item here is these crates that I got from Costco. Okay. So the first question, where would I look for this first? The answer to that is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and the second question, if I ever needed these buckets would occur to me that I already have them. The answer is yes. I just have to find a home for them. And that's what the, that's what these questions are doing is making me find a home for them. And I actually think that where I would find them would be, um, in this unfinished bathroom down here where I have some other, um, buckets and things like that. So I'm going to just stick those in there. Look at this. It's already feeling so much better. All right. So I'm moving on to the hall down here. There are some items that I know I want to use in the future. Well, 
Okay, okay, I don't know, but I think. So the first question is, where would I look for this first? And again, in this little unfinished bathroom here is where I'm keeping decorating stuff, uh, storage bins, things like that, that are just kind of odds and ends that don't really have a home, but that is their home. So I'm gonna put that in there. So this hall is all that's left and already it's better. So the last step, the fifth step in her decluttering process is the container method. And I've kind of been going through that as I've been decluttering. The container method works better if you actually have a spot to contain the items. This hallway is not a container. <laughs> this hallway is a space to walk. So this is not a space where I'm gonna be keeping items. So instead, if I was like going to be decluttering and organizing this unfinished bathroom back here, I would definitely be using the container concept because the room is the space. And again, she talks about not moving them out and putting them into piles, but actually keeping them inside the space. So I would keep them in there instead of putting them in the hall like I would normally do. So when you're finished with this, it may not necessarily be organized, but it is decluttered, which is really important. So I really, really liked this decluttering system by Dana. And I'm gonna be using it in these spaces down here that I will be decluttering very soon. So stay tuned for those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though. Wanna hang with me? Today's video was going to be packed full of a ton of motivation. I'm deep cleaning my bathroom today. There's gonna to be a lot of gross stuff that you'll see. I'm going to be scrubbing my shower. I'm going to be cleaning under my sink. I'm going to be cleaning out the window sills, washing the walls, scrubbing the floors, and much more. Well, today is April 4th and it should be a beautiful spring day, but this is what I'm stuck with, a lot of snow. So it is a perfect day for me to be inside spring cleaning and I'm excited for you to join me. So let's go ahead and get started. I started by running my towels through a washing machine load with vinegar to get them nice and refreshed. And then I decided to start with the task that was the hardest, which was the shower. I needed to get this really deep cleaned. There was a lot of cracking of the caulk and a lot of mold on the caulk and the shower head had a ton of sediment left on it so it wasn't spraying very well. So let's get started. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found here I just have some paper towels soaked in some vinegar and I'm sticking it here on the bottom of the shower door with a lot of hard water stains. I have found that this works pretty well. I also had put the shower heads into a sink of hot water with some vinegar and just needed to give them a good scrub down. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high and almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie if only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better The front of the shower door has all these divots in it so it makes it really difficult to get out the hard water stains I did the best I could. It doesn't really come out all the way, but it was good enough for me. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better, yeah. 
I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. I use soft scrub to clean the shower and it works really, really well. I'm really happy with the results of how this turned out. The only thing is that there's still a lot of mold stuck into the caulking here. So it's time for me to go ahead and dig into it, which I absolutely hate, but here we go. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here. I would really love to just thank you again for being here today. I would love to know what spring cleaning you have already gotten done and if there's something that you're totally dreading with spring cleaning. If you're enjoying this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And also if you wanna consider subscribing, that would be great. I do make a lot of videos with cleaning and decluttering and organizing and other homemaking stuff. I also have plans to make videos with lots of recipes. I also like to do some gardening and some canning. If you need a friend to keep you company, I am here for you. So I would love if you would stick around and hang out with me. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. Next, I wanted to tackle this exhaust fan in my bathroom, which is also a light fixture. It had been really noisy, so I knew that it needed to be dusted really well. I had never done this before, so this is a first for me. Let's see how it goes. sound much better after but not as good as I expected so I definitely need to replace the motor but I'm gonna do that another day so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the caulking I am definitely not a pro it doesn't look pretty especially this part right here but I just really wanted to get it sealed and that's all that really mattered to me this took me basically three whole days and here I am moving on to the next day. I was feeling pretty overwhelmed. It was spring break for my kids. It was a really busy time. Uh, I wanted to get this light fixture cleaned off and the rust cleaned off of it. I wanted to get the blinds cleaned and the window tracks and I wanted to clean out the pipes underneath my sink. So here we go. Let's get started again. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it. Things happen naturally Like it used to be In order to get the rust off of this light fixture, I decided to first try soaking vinegar in the on the paper towels again and giving it 10 minutes on there. It didn't really work very well, so I read online that you can use foil and try and scrub it that way. I was a little nervous about it scratching it, but I was totally okay risking it because I could replace it if I really needed to, and you can't really see it very well up there anyway. So I gave it a shot and you know, it worked pretty well. I did have to do a lot of scrubbing and it was pretty hard. 
this part was really this caked on uh, dust or grease and so I scrubbed that down it actually worked really well but I didn't really want to do the rest so that's all I did In order to clean these window tracks, I just sprinkled on some baking soda and then sprayed on some vinegar and let it soak for a while. Actually, while it was soaking, I cleaned the blinds. I just used this sock and first I used it dry and went over it and just dusted it off because there was so much dust, although it was pretty caked on because of the steam and water. And then I took the sock and I dipped it into some hot soapy water and just ran across the whole thing and it worked really well. And the windowsill was disgusting, as you can see. We had a good run, don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget, yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, yeah. or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter, yeah. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye. I've actually been pretty good about cleaning out this drain, but I did know it was probably going to be pretty bad because it stunk every time I brushed my teeth whenever I put my face in the sink. So here I am just putting some baking soda down the drain, adding some vinegar, and you'll see soon that it gets pretty disgusting. So if you have a weak stomach, you might want to skip out on this part. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot because we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I'm not looking forward to this. Just taking off this. So here we go. <laughs> Splattered on me. Gross. Away. 
on to day three and this day actually looked like spring. It was only five days later, but the snow was all melted. It was a fabulous day. I was really looking forward to finishing up so that I could spend some time outside. I was hoping today to be able to finish everything up. I wanted to get the vanity all cleaned out. I wanted to mop the floors, clean the walls, clean the toilet and scrub out the tub. walls I took a microfiber cloth and put it on top of the mop just to do a quick dry dusting of all the dog hair and dust and then I used a clean mop head and washed the walls and this was the first time I've ever done this and it was amazing it was super easy I don't know why I haven't done it before but this is definitely something I will be doing in the future now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we...
snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep here. I use that furniture polish. This one has not been done yet. I'm amazed at the results. It's really hard to see on the camera and in person. But let me show you what it looks like in just a minute here. That like scratch, whatever, it's gone. The walls are listening when we talk. Making echoes as we walk. I knew that the toilet lid could come off, but again, I had never really done it before. I really needed it. I wanted to be able to get into every single nook and cranny. And when I was finished with this, I don't think my toilet has ever shined like that before. Give me love, give me all your love. Oh, cause I want you No one else makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah, that's all I need And I'll be alright like to see how I got started on this bathroom cleaning, I have left you two videos here where I declutter the closet and I deep clean the jetted tub. Thank you so much for being here today and I will catch you next time.